For this particular problem, if I want to integrate it, I first want to change it to look like this. Now, um, that's my first step in changing it. By the way, is this definite or indefinite? This is an indefinite integral because there's no interval. So will my answer have a number? Will it be a number? No. It will have a plus C. Don't forget it. Some of you will forget that. I'm sorry. I'll just say sorry right now. Now, we're going to divide each piece by x squared. So x to the 1 half divided by x squared is going to be x to the negative 3 over 2 minus x to the 1 third divided by this is x to the negative 5 thirds dx. Any questions with that? You divided both pieces by x squared. Once we do that, now we can integrate each of these pieces individually. So the integral of this is you add 1 to this. Don't you get 1 half? x to the 1 half over 1 half? Is that 1? Right? Thank you. x to the negative 1 half over negative 1 half? Is that right? And then you add 1 to this. What do you get when you add 1 to this? You add 1, you get x to the negative 2 thirds over negative 2 thirds. Don't forget plus C. I'm sorry if you forget that. You'll learn the hard way. Now, when you divide by a fraction, hopefully you understand this ends up being negative 2 over x to the 1 half. Because this drops to the bottom and this flips over. And see the two negatives? That's going to become a plus. You flip, you flip negative 2 over 3 to be 3 over 2. And uh, x to the negative 2 thirds drops to the bottom and puts the 2 thirds on the bottom. Plus c. Now, that's good enough. I know technically you should get a common denominator and all sorts of stuff, but with integrals, that's cool. I just don't want my negative, I'd rather not have negative powers, and I want to simplify it down. So that would be your answer, and that's good enough for an answer.